So this is probably going to end up being a short video because a lot of my feelings on Double Cross in Team Fortress Classic mirror the uh, Crossfire in Team Fortress Classic almost exactly. Because outside of the map being... Di well, you know, the map being different is like... But similar is obviously one thing. But it's not like in Half-Life, like the, when you play it in its normal game where the, like, the item placements and stuff do make a difference in discussing hit. Here, a lot of, like, the tactical and, like, you know, th like things I mentioned in that video also apply almost 100% here because, you know, it's a, basically a remix of that. And there are really no items to pick up besides the health and, like, the health ba the batteries and, obviously, the chargers. So, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying that, you know, I don't really have much to say, to, like, in terms of strategy. What I will pick up, though, is that I do feel that it's easier, probably, for a lot of the classes to actually move around with ease because this is a lot like you know less vertical and like a lot of the jumps are easier to make for the slower classes i mean even the heavy weapons guy can get up here and like you know maybe you'll have the soldier or like you know other class like people know how to conk jump really will get into here more easily but overall i feel the geometry of the little battlements area if you will doesn't favor some of the more agile classes as much as crossfire does um, coming over to here, though, I feel it's also far more easy to coordinate, uh, with a team to actually hold your fort down. I'm going with my tried and true eight people, though I'm going to argue that even up to 24 people might work decently. It might get a little bit crowded with a, like, 24 and above. But, you know, I feel actually trying to hold this area down, like, in Crossfire is even easier than it is in Crossfire. Just because, you know, there's more places to snipe. There's more places for the engineer to possibly get around and, like, build, like, traps. It's easier for the sniper to get out, even, because there's actually more openings and stuff like that. I mean, sniper. I mean, spy. If a spy wants to try to get, like, you know, keep people from getting behind. And, like, there's places to hide for the spy around here. But as I've said, tactically and strategy-wise, there's almost nothing more I can really add that well, from what I said in Crossfire that I can't add here. Um, I am going to say this probably is a better map uh, in Team Fortress Classic than it is in, like, you know... Oh, okay, I said that wrong. In ha in Half-Life proper, Crossfire and Double Cross, I feel they're about equal, and it comes down to more of a preference thing. Where, as I feel, I feel strictly this map actually is better. When you're talking to Crossfire or Double Cross and Team Fortress Classic, I would say this is a superior map, but that is, that's completely unintentional. It just happens to be that way. So, yeah, like I said, not much more to say. I am going to show off Mr. Casoli's Signature, of course, which you've made it really easy to find here. So good on him. Thank you. Let's play. Give you another peek real quick at the good old backwards uh, first aid kit. Figure I'll try out Engineer again here. I mean, I did that in Crossfire. It only makes sense to do that again. But see, even get the, cro the Engineer getting into the base here, I feel is easier for them. Just because the map isn't so... You know, it just, it's, it's a hard thing to describe. But I just feel that like the original Crossfire doesn't always benefit the uh, some of the classes as well as the double cross here does hell there's even more places to potentially build for the engineer in here so though with that being said it's probably harder for the uh engineer to gather up materials per se because you know he has to go farther to go find like you know gather up like a vulture and stuff like that that also being like you know just i'm saying that being said too i think it's also easier for the opposing team to potentially get in here too because look you can crawl up here so it goes both ways. It's easier to hold down the fort, but I also feel it's easier to actually break in, too, if a player knows what they're doing. If you've ever wondered why so many of the... I brought this... I uh, touched this on the, this lightly, but if you ever wonder why so many of the Half-Life map, like deathmatch maps, take place in the desert, it's because... I think it's, frankly, it's just because the, the default um, skybox texture is the uh, desert here. It's probably in, like, you know, a lot of people, probably, especially back in the day... With, like, you know, weaker graphics cards and stuff like that. Like, where you need to make the maps more basic in order, like, for more people to run them. You're not too worried about the aesthetic, so it's just easier to base it off of the default setting. Which is why I think, like, I mean, Black Mesa, to, like, you know, Half-Life takes place probably somewhere around New Mexico. So, you know, obviously, you know, it's going to be in the desert, but still. That's why I think they go with that more than the, like, you know, more some of the more inside themes. Hey, look at this. And obviously, too, this still works if you've never tried that. So it's good for my engineer up here. Because I can hold the fort myself. 
What are you doing? Yeah, that's what I thought. Although, sadly, the, um, this thing here, these, like, gun emplacements or cannon emplacements, like, it's... They don't credit the person who's firing them for the kills, so that's kind of lame. Also, this part doesn't close up, so you think, realistically, some of the explosion would, like, kind of come through here? At least some of the fireworks. Oh, well, it's not really worth thinking about, but it's just a funny thought. Oh, wait, shit! That closed up faster than I thought it would. Yeah, it seems to be the only part that doesn't close up, so yeah, that's... I never really noticed that in the original Half-Life. Like, when I played it there, I thought it did. Oh, well. What, are you asleep? I should not have been able to take that much, like, you know, many shots at you. So, you know, in an earlier version of this game, the engineer's, uh, wrench model was different. It looked like a more plain-ass, like, you know, wrench, like the silver one. Or the metal one. And then later they uh, added in this more fanciful one. Just a little fun to something for you. Mom, where's all the ammo at? I need this. I need the scraps. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. Whoa. I want nothing to do with this. This is actually a pretty shitty spot for a dispenser, but eh, who cares? Not going to be playing much longer anyway. This red frogger, mofucker. Here is really insistent about going into that uh trench, isn't he? Well, I'm gonna give him his just desserts. The e e m p. Yeah, I love when that happens. So good. Oh, you want some more? You want seconds? Eat them. Damn it. Well, fine. I'll just give her the, deliver the goods myself. Revenge is a be dish best served. Not because I'm dead. Come on, I'm serving these hot mortars. You want it fresh? I'm sure you do. Sure, come on. I love how you can actually aim through if you know what you're doing here. I wish there's a cross to like hair or something on these, but oh well. Oh, I see ya. I see ya! Think you can hide? Oh, you scared? Come on! Wow, this must be the like the most durable heavy weapons guy of all time. Damn. Well, I got my revenge. Better get in here. Oh! Yeah, I know, this video is a little bit underwhelming in terms of actually showing off most of the map, but still. Um, Double Cross is very good. Again, one of the top tier of the Half-Life into Deathmatch class- or death <laughs> Wrong game. Um, Half-Life into, um... Team Fortress Classic here. I uh, definitely would say check it out. Uh, you'll have to grab it off of um, Half-Life Further Data, unfortunately. But, you know, I'll leave a link to that in the description. So, yeah, that's uh, with the exception of Rapid Core. That is all of the Half-Life Deathmatch maps I can play in Fox... Uh, Foxbot. Uh, Team Fortress Classic here because, speaking of Foxes, Foxbot doesn't have waypoints for Rust Mill, Team 9, or Zen DM, as far as I'm aware. I'm only going with what's officially available. Uh, if someone's got the waypoint files for those and they like you want to share them with me, you go right ahead. But they're not included with the, the default Foxbox installation, so I can't check those out. Um, which means uh, we're going to be playing actual Team Fortress Classic maps. You know, that's funny. I, I've been, what, doing these like Team Fortress Classic maps for like, or videos for like a month now, and I'm just getting the actual maps for this game. What a guy I am.